Pydentic AI simplifies AI agent development with type-safe workflows and robust data validation, enabling production-ready applications using both cloud-based and local AI models. It supports providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, and local models via Olima, offering flexibility for privacy and performance. Its clean Pythonic design integrates easily with existing tools, while features like model agnostic support, dependency injection, and real-time debugging make it reliable and scalable. This is my second video on Pydantic AI. Check the link in the description for the starter video. We'll run local AI models using Olama, starting with Microsoft's latest Phi4 model. Phi4 is a 14 billion parameter small language model, SLM, designed for advanced reasoning in math and coding. Trained on high quality synthetic data and curated content, it outperforms larger models like GPT-4 and LAMA-3 on STEM problems while being efficient and scalable. Available on Azure AI Foundry and soon on Hugging Face, Phi4 demonstrates how smaller, well-trained models can rival larger ones, solidifying Microsoft's role in AI innovation. We'll download the Phi4 model by running the following command in the command line. Once the Phi4 model is downloaded, we'll create a simple Pydantic AI agent using Olama with Phi4 ensuring it runs locally without relying on any external APIs. We'll launch VS Code, then create and activate a Python virtual environment to set up a clean workspace for our project. This code demonstrates how to create a Pydantic AI agent using a local model with Olama. It initializes the agent with the Phi4 model and sets a system prompt to act as a helpful researcher. The example uses agent.runsync, a synchronous method that blocks execution until a response is ready, making it ideal for simple scripts without asynchronous requirements. The agent also supports context-aware conversations by preserving message history between queries, allowing it to build on previous interactions. Additionally, Pydantic AI offers flexible execution methods including agent.run for asynchronous tasks and agent.runstream for real-time streaming responses, making it suitable for both quick prototypes and complex applications that require asynchronous or streaming workflows. Let's run and see how our first simple agent performs. As you can see, the agent's response in the first run, the agent provides a detailed overview of Albert Einstein highlighting his contributions to physics, including the theory of relativity, quantum mechanics, and the photoelectric effect, which earned him the Nobel Prize in 1921. It also covers his development of the general theory of relativity, his advocacy for peace and civil rights, and his later years spent in the United States after fleeing Nazi Germany. In the second run, the agent explains Einstein's most famous equation, E equals mc squared, from his special theory of relativity. This equation reveals the relationship between energy and mass, demonstrating that mass can be converted into energy. It emphasizes the equation's impact on nuclear energy, atomic weapons, and our understanding of cosmic phenomena, like stars and atomic reactions showcasing its profound influence on modern physics. Next, we will create a movie recommendation agent. This code creates a recommendation system using the Pydantic AI framework, demonstrating how to build an AI agent that interacts with multiple tools to provide event-based suggestions. The system uses a main agent class that coordinates three primary async functions decorated with at event agent dot tool colon, get current events checks what holidays or events are coming up, search themed movies, finds relevant movies from a movie database, or provides dummy data without an API, and get ta activity suggestions, offers appropriate activities based on the event and timing. All these components are managed through a depth data class 
that handles dependencies like the HTTP client, API keys, and current date. The code showcases async await patterns, proper error handling with model retry, and a modular structure that makes it easy to extend. When run, it creates an async context, sets up dependencies, defaulting to today's December 21, 2024, and uses Llama 3.2 with Olama to coordinate the tools and generate relevant recommendations. For example, if you run it during the Christmas season, it knows to suggest holiday movies like Home Alone, along with seasonal activities like decorating the tree or baking cookies, all while considering how many days are left until the event. Let's run our movie recommendation agent and see how it performs. First, we'll need to obtain an API key from theimovdb.org. Once the key is set up, we can run the agent and evaluate its performance. We initially tested the FI4 model, but it does not support tools, which are essential for interacting with external APIs and fetching dynamic data. To resolve this, we'll switch to Llama 3.2, which supports tools and enables seamless integration with external services. In the attached response, the agent provides movie and activity recommendations for winter solstice, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. Suggestions include watching The Revenant with ice skating or snowball fights for winter solstice, enjoying Elf with a scavenger hunt or game night for Christmas Eve, and celebrating Christmas Day with Christmas Carol, cooking dinner, and decorating trees. The agent also reminds users to check local schedules for better planning. Switching to El Lama 3.2 ensures we can continue leveraging tools to dynamically generate recommendations, improving the agent's performance and flexibility. As you can see, the FI4 model performs well in reasoning tasks, demonstrating its strength in handling complex queries and providing insightful responses. However, it still lags in advanced features like support for external tools which are essential for integrating APIs and fetching dynamic data. To overcome this limitation, we'll switch to Alama 3.2, which supports tools and offers greater flexibility for building more interactive and feature-rich agents. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.